Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi Zero and I'm gonna test several emulators today in this video. I will make another video with more emulators very soon. I do not wanna make this video too long, so we're gonna get right into it. This is a stock clock Raspberry Pi Zero. I have a PS3 controller connected and my keyboard using a USB hub. First up, let's try Game Boy Advanced. Now I may have to turn the sound down on most of these games just to avoid copyright, and I will let you know if the sound is working correctly or not. First, Game Boy Advance, Sonic Advance 2. This is a very fast paced game, so I wanted to test this out to see if it ran well. Since I haven't started, I have to choose Sonic. But we will be able to get a feel of how this game's going to play. Alright, let me get my buttons correct here. I know this, I love the art style of this uh, Game Boy Advance Sonic game. It looks really cool. And he has a couple extra little features that he doesn't have in other games. Well, any of the older games. I haven't played Sonic in so long. I'm not sure what they've done with him. Oh, I wanted to do that. And as you can see, this is very fast-paced movement, and the Pi Zero is handling this very well. Wow. It's definitely keeping up, and we are at full speed emulation here. Wow. That ran better than I thought it would. We'll try another game in the Game Boy Advanced emulator. Now, these are all stock straight out of the box. I have not changed um, any settings. I didn't even add artwork to these games. My wired PS3 controller is just working. We may run into a problem with some emulators where we need to set it up, but we will tackle that when we get there. Well, we had a reboot. We'll go and try this one more time. I'm not sure if this is going to work. It could just be the ROM that I'm using. Nope. So we'll go with a different game right now. Spyro 3. Skip through this intro here. We'll get into the training simulator. And it does not look too bad stretched out. You know, the Game Boy Advance had a small screen. I'm running this on a 40-inch Samsung, and it looks very good. So I'll be making videos on these emulators individually, but for this video, I just wanted to test a few of them all together.
Okay, there we go. Cool. Got my headbutt going on here. Whoa! Very smooth. Pretty sure you'll be able to emulate most of the Game Boy Advance games with no trouble. Now seeing that first game we tried, which was Sonic, is one of the fastest paced games for the Game Boy Advance, and it handled it with no trouble at all. Let's back out of here. Start and select on your controller. Okay. Next up, let's try some Game Boy Color. Now since we had no trouble playing Advanced, we're probably going to have a good time playing Game Boy Color here. This Pi Zero is very low power. It runs a single core 1 gigahertz CPU. The same GPU as all the other Pis. It's a video core GPU. It has 512 megabytes of RAM. Whoa. There were some great games made for all of these Game Boy systems that you have tons of fun running on this little unit here. And they're very cheap. If you can find... They're supposed to be $5, the Raspberry Pi Zero. Now, it's hard to find just a single Pi Zero for $5. Most of the time, they bundle them with accessories. And you're probably going to need at least the HDMI adapter it's a micro HDMI to full size HDMI and oh and a mini USB OTG cable so what it does is it takes micro USB to a full size USB female so you can plug your stuff in there back out of that one try one more So I've never tried this game. I love Conkers for N64. And this is looking pretty crazy. It's running very well so far. We haven't gotten a gameplay, but I'm willing to bet we would have no trouble running most of the Game Boy Color games on the Pi Zero. Okay. Let's see. I need a slingshot, so... Am I already equipped with one? Like I said, I... I haven't played this, so I'm not sure. Now, I will tell you, I have tested most every Pokemon game, and they run awesome. Because when I think of Game Boy Advance, this... Or Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance, I think of Pokemon. Those are my favorite games, and I still enjoy playing them, so... Am I supposed to dig through here? Nice! Cool. Action button? Can I hit this acorn dude? No. Whoa. So definitely looking real 
Whoa, really good. Where am I going? All the way across town here. Ah! I don't like this. So I'm gonna exit out of this. That was Game Boy Color, Pi Zero. Let's try Mega Drive. Sonic 2. Very nice frame rate. So with the Pi Zero, older systems are going to run pretty well. I did try PlayStation 1 in a previous video and it was a bit laggy. Um, Dreamcast will not play at all. There's no point in asking. Takes forever to start and it's running at about 3 FPS so there's really no point in even demonstrating it. The Pi 3 has a hard time running Dreamcast and that has a quad core 1.2? 1.2 gigahertz CPU so this is only a single core 1 gigahertz. It's definitely gonna struggle. Sonic runs great on the Genesis. Have to try Altered Beast here. Now all the videos that I have previously done will be linked in the description. I've tested a few emulators uh, individually, but if you want to see different emulators running, let me know and I can make single videos. Right in the butt. You want some of this? Ah! No, I kicked. There we go. Whoa! Yes, here we go. About to transform, baby. Welcome to your doom. Oh, I was... I thought I was safe, guys. Come on, come on. We're almost there. Woo! Altered Beast runs amazing on the Pi Zero. Let's move on to MSX. So this is Tetris for MSX. I am aware that this is not a fast-paced game at all. A lot of people love this game, myself included. So I would like to test it. Oh. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Okay, so I got to get my buttons right, guys. I cannot switch. What what's going on? Uh 
Okay, so I'm gonna stack this real quick and I'm gonna restart. <clears throat> This is a bit harder to see where you're going to lay this. Uh... I put so many hours into Tetris, it's not even funny. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have too. Kill that one real quick. Oh! Wrong button. Well, you see it runs pretty great. We'll try another game on the MSX here. Salamander. Oh, wrong button, guys. Sorry about that. A lot of the games on the MSX were made, the good games were made by Konami. I was able to overclock the Pi Zero to 1.1 gigahertz. There's really no point. Um, I noticed no increased performance with it. That's as high as I could get the, uh, the CPU. Oh, why did I use speed? Oh, I wanted my ripple. There we go. Ripple seems to work very cool. Normal? No, I want a missile. Two-way. There we go. Now, I was never able to play this game on a real MSX, and as you see, the parallax is a bit skippy. Um, I'm not sure. Now, I've tested this on the Pi 3, and it does about the same thing. I'm not sure if this is just the emulator or this is how the game ran on the original MSX. But so far, I mean, it seems to run decently. Um... About the same as the Pi 3, and that's really the reference I have. So we'll go with laser. Just wipe them all out at one time. Oh no. And it just kind of resets if you uh, let it go. You keep collecting them and do not use one of your uh, specials down below here. We'll go speed. More speed. Doesn't help out too much. Oh, what? Seems to run um, fairly well from the reference that I have. So. If you know that it runs better on the original MSX consoles, then let me know in the comments below. Neo Geo. When you get here, if you would like your controller set up correctly, I suggest using LRFBA Next. And your controller will work with no additional setup. Insert a few coins with select, press start. 
I definitely recommend if you want to play MAME or Neo Geo, just use the Final Burn Alpha emulator built in and switch it to LR FBA Next. So that's really where it's at for the arcade emulation on this unit. A little bit laggy. I notice it's um, definitely a little laggy. And the sound is really off. Yeah, this is pretty much unplayable, guys. Well, that sucks. This is uh, one of my favorite emulators within RetroPie. Try one more here. Takes a bit to load. It sat there. I thought it was actually froze. This is going to be laggy. You hear the sound here, it's really glitching out. We'll just try to try you. They're gonna randomly select Balrog. Now you can always go into the settings and turn down the resolution on most of these emulators. I just kind of leave it stock here to see how the performance is. Unplayable. Very unplayable. Back out. So we tried Neo Geo MSX, Mega Drive, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced. Let's go Super Nintendo now. This is Do Re Mi Fantasy. This is the English translated version. Really, really good SNES game. I suggest you guys try it if you like side scrolling platform games like, say, Mario. So it loaded up really quick. And it looks like we got some good emulation on SNES. I wasn't surprised um, looking at this. Like I said before, the Pi Zero will really handle older generation emulators um, pretty well for the power that it puts out and the price. It's definitely worth buying. If you plan on buying a Pi Zero to run PlayStation or Dreamcast, um, then you got a surprise coming because it will not. It's it's not going to, and I don't see development helping much. The board is definitely underpowered to run those. Possibly later on in the future it could, but I don't think anytime soon. By then we'll have the Pi 5 because I'm pretty sure they're going to just keep making them. They're making money. Why stop now? Very good. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. So I'm gonna back out of this game and we'll try Joe and Mac. Another great game I suggest you download and try. There's part one and part two. You'll find a main version that is not the same. It's more of a First Mario Brothers type game with the um, platform fighting, I guess you could call it. I, I'm not sure. This is a platformer, side-scrolling adventure game. And this was always one of my favorite games.
So would I suggest a Raspberry Pi Zero? Yes, if you can get one for $5, I definitely suggest it. Um, no, if you have a Pi 3 or a Pi 2 already and you're happy with your Retro Pi setup because this is not going to offer any more performance. The main draw to this was the size of the board, but by the time you add a USB adapter, your OTG cable, and the HDMI adapter, this thing is about as big as the Raspberry Pi. It does great with really old uh, game emulation, such as Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, SNES, Genesis. MAME does not run too well. But I'm definitely going to be making a video on more emulators soon. We'll back out of here because that seemed to run very good. It runs great. It's not the best. But for the size and the power that the board puts out, it runs very good. Last one I'm going to try here, we'll try Vectrex. We'll do pole position. And I don't see us having any trouble playing Vectrex on the Pi Zero. So I need to prepare to qualify. I will do that. This was a really cool console concept. It's a vector based gaming console. And I'll leave a link to the wiki page on this. It's really cool. I'd really love to have one. So I need to pass these guys up. Definitely running very good. I don't want to blow up. But I will blow up now for you, just to show you what happens. Pretty awesome special effects there. So we'll try one more game. Cosmic Chasm. Oh, why did I do that? So we have our shoot. We have a little shield button here. That'll, well, where'd it go? There we go. Little force field button. Man. Just got to get used to this. So you have your gas button. You use your D-pad to control it. Shoot button. Get out of here. So I'm not sure what to do now, but it seems to run very good. Do I just need to get out of here? Yeah, I just needed to get out of there. So really, you need the owner's manual to understand this. I believe this is the, that was the overworld map. So, I, oh, I gotta get through here. Gotta destroy all these guys and get out. Why? Well, Vectrex Raspberry Pi Zero. So that's it guys, that's um, a bunch of emulators running on the Raspberry Pi Zero. Just wanted to do, you know, a couple quick tests on a bunch of emulators. I will be doing single emulator videos. 
And I'm going to make another long spread one. I just didn't want this to turn into a 40 minute video and it will if I keep going. So if you have any requests, let me know in the comments below. Um, Dreamcast won't run. N64 won't run. There's no point in trying it. It will not. So if you are in the market for a Raspberry Pi Zero, just note that you're going to be able to play older systems below N64. I appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe because I have a lot more coming. And like always, thanks for watching.